I'm going to play in the Masters. That sounds even crazier when I say it out loud, but hey, you gotta manifest your dreams. And believe it or not, there's actually a path for guys like me. Every year, Augusta National hosts the Masters. The Masters is technically an invitational, which means they can invite whoever they want. And there are a couple of ways to qualify for one of the most prestigious tournaments in golf, including the path I plan to take. Here's a few ways you can get into the Masters. First, past champions. I'm not there yet. I gotta get in first before I can win. Win a PJ Tour event. That's unlikely since I'm not on the PJ Tour and they're killing Monday qualifying. Top four in a major. I might be able to get into one of the opens, but a top four finish against the best in the world is an even bigger stretch than what I'm already presenting. Qualify for the Tour Championship. First, I need a Tour card. Don't have one of those. Finish in the top 50 world golf rankings. Since not even live golfers are getting points, that's going to be hard. Win Olympic gold. If I could change my citizenship to a non-golfing country, I might have a chance, but I'm American and they only take four spots and I'd have to wait another four years for the Olympics. I could win the British, Asia Pacific, or Latin American amateur. That's not impossible, but probably a more expensive option. A top two at the USAM? I plan to at least give that one a try. Or I could win the US Mid-Am. Now we're talking. I just have to win the Mid-Am. But what's the US Mid-Am? The U.S. Mid-Am is an annual tournament put on by the USJ for post-college golfers. Once you qualify for the Mid-Am, the actual tournament consists of two days of stroke play, after which the field is cut to the top 64 players, who then play match play to decide a champion, and that champion gets to play the Masters. So what are the requirements? You have to be at least 25 years old, and you have to have a USGA handicap index of 2.4 or lower, as opposed to the USAM, which requires a 0.4. As of today, I am 40 years old. My current gen is a 1.6, so I qualify. I can try to play. So you're telling me there's a chance. But I don't just need to qualify, I need to win. So how do I do that? It just sounds impossible. A good place to start is Stuart Hagestad. He's done it three times. A financial exec from New York, the dude has a day job and has found a way to play some pretty elite golf. The problem? He's only 34 years old. I'm about to turn 41, so I'm cooked, right? Too old to tango? Not necessarily. The oldest winner of the US Mid-Am is Michael McCoy, and he did it at the tender age of 50 back in 2013. Inspiring stuff. So I have at least 10 more years before I'd even set the record. Back to Hagestad. If I use him as a reference, I can see how much better I need to get. According to the USJ Gen system, his handicap is almost a plus six. My USJ Gen is 1.6 and sliding the wrong direction. My lowest gen has been right around a zero, so I'm crazy, right? There's no way I can just drop six strokes, except I've done it before. When I started tracking my golf and tangent, I was around a six handicap, not a plus six, but a regular six. With specific practice and a bit of work, I carved it down to a zero. In fact, I barely practiced. It was just focused practice. And though going from a zero to a plus six is also just six strokes, the climb will be much harder. The lower the handicap, the harder the improvement. And I don't have six years to do it. I've got to make improvements fast, as every year I'll also be battling father time. Lucky for me, I have the tools. Using the Tangent app, I know that my best golf gains four and a half shots on an elite amateur. My best golf is good enough. But as anyone who's played the game knows, you'll never have your entire game clicking in a single round, much less an entire tournament or an entire season. So I have to improve, but I have a plan. There are three main areas of golf in my opinion. There's skills, strategy, and mental. And I've gotta get better at all three. Let's start with skill. The most obvious area I need to improve is speed. <laughs> the average club head speed on the PJ Tour is around 116 miles an hour. I'm closer to 102. I've gotta get faster. To do that, I have to get stronger. That means a dedicated, focused routine to add muscle. I'm gonna use programs in the Fit for Golf app to do just that. I'm not sponsored by them, it's just great stuff and Mike Carroll's fantastic. I also need speed training. That means purposely trying to push the limits of how fast I can move a club so that I can go from maxing out at 108 miles an hour to cruising at 118. For that, I'll start using the stack. Again, I've used it before so I reached out to them to become an affiliate just because it's a great product. Outside of speed, I also need to make my ball striking more consistent and in particular, get better with distance control, wedges, and long irons. For that, I have the Tangent app. 
I'll use Tangent to not only guide my practice sessions with specific recommendations based on my performance, but I'll use the Tangent AI Coach. I'll track my progress using drills in the app so that I know that I'm making a difference and progressing in the right direction. Then there's strategy. I've been using the Tangent AI Caddy to help me navigate the course and I have improved. I've also studied methods like Decade and I know what I have to do. I just have to be more disciplined. The name of the game is bogey avoidance. I'll do film room studies of my rounds and fully evaluate decision making on the course so that I can manage the course better than Scotty Scheffler. Lastly, there's the mental game. There's nothing that tests your mental commitment like tournament golf. As soon as a golf shot matters more, interesting thoughts creep into your head, and the best in the world are great at acknowledging those thoughts and committing to the shot anyway. Lucky for me, I already have a ton of tournament experience. Maybe not against the caliber of players I'll be facing in USGA events, but I've won almost 20 tournaments on the Golf Channel and US Am Tours. I'm not a beginner. I have experience in most stressful situations and a history of rising to the occasion. I'll even play simulator tournaments using GS Pro on the Sim Golf Tour. So during this journey, I'll be playing more tournaments, I'll get back into US Am Tour events, and I'm gonna try to play in more Texas Golf Association and USGA events. US Open qualifiers, the US Am, the Mid Am, I'll cut my teeth and build that experience playing against better players. That's how you accelerate learning so that I can become one of those better players. So the path is clear. I have to get better in all three areas. I have tools to help me do so. I have a way to measure progress for each. So now's the hard part, executing, being disciplined, showing up every day, all while balancing growing my business and being a family man, every golfer's dream. Aim for the moon and if you miss, you'll be amongst the stars or die a terrible death choking in space. Either way, this is going to be fun. I'm going to play in the Masters. Now all I have to do is earn the invite. If you want to follow my journey or help me along the way, hit that like and subscribe button, live vicariously through me, tell me I'm crazy, root me on, whatever you want to do. The comments are open. Let's improve together.